So I'm just going to go over uh, four sets of lecture notes that I think would be helpful for people uh, entering a graduate program or needing to brush up on some graduate level micro macro metrics and um, math econ. So the first set of notes that I used in um, math econ and micro are these notes by Kim Border or KC Border. I'll put links to these in the description, but if you just Google his name, you'll end up at this site. And if you Google his name also, you'll find this link from uh, Dr. Healy at Ohio State that has um, a collection of his stuff. He actually passed away recently, um, unfortunately. But he has these, um, he has notes for some of his classes. He has convex analysis notes, probability and statistics, and then some other stuff. But I think the most helpful thing is if you go on his website and you scroll down to these additional notes on topics in math econ, you get a ton of stuff that is really nicely formatted. Formatted. I'll uh, click on some of these, but this is going to cover you know a decent amount of stuff, uh, results, and some examples that you're going to find in um, in this math section. You're going to find some stuff that'll be good for mathematical economics, some stuff that's good for just general optimization, convex analysis, all the sort of stuff you're going to see in grad school. Um, and they're usually really nicely formatted. Um, he has a lot of examples. He has a decent amount of exposition. Um, I wouldn't really learn from these, but I think they're great to supplement whatever you're going through in class. So when you're going through stuff in math camp or um, micro, I think it's uh, pretty good to have some of these on hand. Uh, you know, I, I think I used his one on the envelope theorem and implicit function theorem. He has some good notes on. So Kim Border, definitely uh, check his stuff out. Then uh, for micro, I don't know how many people know about these, but Nolan Miller's notes um, from University of Illinois are really good. These go along. They're meant to be used along with MWG. So they cover basically what I think is probably the standard sequence. I, I know for us, we got up to uh, about monopoly and um, general equilibrium. So this covers most of the stuff up to there if you're following along with MWG. Uh, I think specifically these early chapters are really good of his, where uh, they go through the basic setup of the consumer choice framework, the uh, Walrassian budget sets, you know, all the standard stuff that's in the early chapters of MWG, but he gives a lot more exposition. So this is really helpful for, again, I, I think this is actually good for maybe give whatever MWG chapter you have a read through and then... This is all before you learn it in class. Give uh, MWG a read through, read through, and then I would give these a thorough read through, and then go back to MWG, and they're usually super helpful with understanding that. So Nolan Miller notes, these were great. I, I use these all the time for um, studying and things like that to make sure you understood the concepts. They're a little, um, they're not as super math heavy as MWG are, and they have a lot more exposition. And then. Um, there are Dirk Kruger from University of Penn, his macro theory notes, and um, I haven't taken macro at the grad level. I have a bunch of textbooks I've been studying from, and I have some friends who have taken it. So I know macro isn't as homogenous as um, micro and math econ is, but I thought these notes were the best for me to go through after trying a couple of textbooks and other notes I found. So these are pretty heavy um, on sort of the setup and math stuff, which I think just comes with the territory with macro. It's, you know, a lot of these sort of complicated models that you're working through. But he has a good appendix at the end of chapter two where he goes through some of the utility assumptions about these different models. He basically does the full walkthrough of a lot of these models. He gives a ton of the calculations. Um, at times, I thought it was helpful where he explained a couple of the uh, tricks, like the math tricks that you're doing that aren't obvious. And um, pretty soon you're going to run into some dynamic stuff that it's helpful to, uh, you can actually, I'm sure Casey Border probably has some stuff you can help get help from, or um, pick up some books on dynamics um, or basic, you know, differential equations. Or if you use uh, 
the textbook I mentioned in my Math Econ video, the textbooks for Math Econ, the uh, De La Fuente book, he has a, I think it's chapter eight or nine, where he covers the intro to a lot of the stuff that you're going to need here. But I thought these were uh, great. They seemed really thorough. Um, your mileage may vary, but I thought they were helpful. And then for micro, or I'm um, sorry, metrics, you have uh, Bruce Hansen's notes. Uh, they're not actually notes. They're, I think they're meant to be published textbooks eventually. So he actually has two. He has this intro to econometrics one, which you can see is basically an intro to probability theory and mathematical statistics. So um, I don't know why. Yeah, sorry, you got to click on it. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a standard. Uh, it's a little terse, you know, it, it, it's, it might be sort of difficult if you've never taken a probability course or something before, but I think almost everyone has at the graduate level. So this is a good, uh, it's good to keep on hand, it's good to run through, and there's probably a, a handful of things that are maybe uh, more than a lot of us might need for metrics, but if you're going into sort of either uh, specializing in econometrics or um, doing applied stuff, all of this is probably going to be helpful. But this is good to have on hand. This is the first book. And then the second book is a lot more thorough from what I could tell. I've gone through um, a decent amount of it, or, you know, maybe the first third. But this is a huge book. Uh, if you print it out, I didn't see if you're allowed to or not, but if you were to do that, then I think it's like a thousand pages or so. And this seems like this is going to cover way more than most people are going to take in metrics. But uh, that kind of depends on how specialized uh, your program is or you plan to be. But this is going to cover everything at sort of like the hardcore graduate level. Like you're going to be using, you know, the linear algebra stuff and all that. So this seems super thorough and is probably going to be helpful for a lot of people, hopefully. So um, yeah, I hope some of these notes uh, might be helpful for someone to download or have on hand or something. And I'll post links to all these pages in the description. So thanks for listening.